Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Nizzy Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in this video, we're just going to be breaking down a Raptors preview tonight versus the Brooklyn Nets. Pretty big game, trying to get that win streak going to four games tonight. Uh, Nets got a few players out. Harden had a setback the other day there, so he's going to be out. Sounds like he's going to be out the rest of the season until uh, the playoffs start, which is good news for us anyways. Um, Durant's a game-time decision with that thigh contusion from a couple games ago. Um, sounds like Kyrie's going to be playing, even though it was back-to-back -back yesterday. As they played the Pelicans yesterday, beat them 134-129. Um, so they're going to be a little tired today, I would assume. It's coming off a of back-to-back. We've been resting nicely. We just had two days off. Um, and then Brooklyn just played last night. So, And they're also going to be missing Harden, possibly Durant. So this should be a very advantageous position for the Raptors, man. Um, we're only going to be missing Hood and Watson. Rodney Hood, Paul Watson out tonight. We're getting all of our starters back, so... Going to be interesting to see what Nick Nurse does with the starting lineups, man. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a backlog at the guard position. Really big-time backlog here, so... I don't know if he's going to start Kyle, Fred, both, as well as Gary Trent. It's kind of tough to start all three of those guys. Because um, then Boucher's going back to the bench if they decide to run Trent at the small forward and then put Freddie at the shooting guard or Kyle at the shooting guard and then either one of them two guys at the point guard slot. Um, then you're probably going to be looking at OG at the power forward and uh, Siakam at center there for our starting lineup. That's if they decide to run all those guys. That would be kind of a small ball lineup. I would rather see them go Kem Birch. Kem Birch with Pascal, OG, Gary Trent, and uh, Freddie. I would love to see him run that lineup. And then I know it sucks for Kyle having to come off the bench. He hasn't come off the bench in ever. But I think it would be the best decision for all of, uh, all of the Raptors involved, the whole team. Um, he'd be able to really get that second unit flowing. He wouldn't have to be the main point guard. He'd actually be a really nice shooting guard spot coming off the bench because we have Malachi who can facilitate really well. He's that floor general point guard that we need. Um, and Kyle's just a lethal shooter, man, especially when he can work off the ball and just run out of screens and basically get open for the three, stuff like that. So I think it could really boost, boost our uh, bench play if we have Kyle come off the bench, especially he's been dealing with that nagging toe injury. You don't want to press him too much with... Uh, too many minutes on the court, and I just don't think it's a really smart option to run that small ball lineup. Um, I think we're going to need the extra size against these guys because rebounding is going to be key. Um, you give them more shots, chances are they're going to make them, especially with Kyrie playing. They still got Griffin in there. You know, they're still a good team regardless, right? So we got to be careful tonight. We've got to be on our game. Hopefully the guys who have been sitting out lately are kind of in a rhythm and ready to go here. Um, hopefully. We'll see what happens. I'm a little nervous. I hope we're not seeing freaking Pascal dribble, 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 drive into double coverage and then, you know, leave his feet and try and kick it out, that kind of game. It's running so smooth with Malachi, man. If you guys have been watching the last few games when we've had pretty much our whole starting lineup out with uh, rest slash injury, whatever you want to call it. Um, I thought Malachi's been doing a great job. You're just seeing the offense flow really good. It's always going to the open shooter. They're not forcing it to one guy and having that one guy keep hucking up shots. Um, which I find it depends on Pascal's day, right? Sometimes Pascal will um, do a really good job of facilitating, um, only shooting when he's open or when he's got a nice one-on-one -on -one in the post, um, or if he's got like an open look from three. But the biggest thing you could tell if Pascal's going to have a good or a bad game, depending on how he starts, right? If Pascal's starting the game shooting jump shots, not going to be a good night. Most likely if he's starting driving it in the paint, setting up for, uh, setting up for some post play really driving it to the rack trying to look look for the calls trying to get fouls called and uh playing heavy in the paint pascal's gonna have a nice game right so that's what we really got to focus on for him especially if we're going to run a small ball lineup really depends i don't know what nick nurse is planning but that would be a pretty small ball lineup if we run him as the center og as the four um so we'll see what happens with that but would love to see him play inside a lot more he does have a nice jumper like his his jumper's not bad when he's hitting, but when he's missing, man, he's missing everything. And then he's not passing the ball off. He just, you know, comes down the floor quick, shoots it, misses, and then we're back into our defensive set again. So I want to see a little more ball movement from that starting lineup tonight. Um, guys haven't played for a while, right? So we're going to see if they're going to be shaking off a little bit of those cobwebs or not. 
But uh, regardless, we should be taking this game. Like, there's no reason we should lose this game to the Nets, you guys. I mean, they're missing most likely. I don't think Durant's going to play. They call it a game-time decision. Uh, uh, even if he plays, I don't think he's going to get, like, 30 or 40 minutes. Like, he's hardly played in the last two years. Um, Harden's out as well. Kyrie's not a good defender. He just can shoot buckets. So if we can lock down Kyrie, hold him to, like, you know, 20 or less points, not allow him to facilitate much, cause a lot of turnovers, we can have a nice game today. Um, we should be able to take this, get four in a row. It's kind of that big moment in our season here where it's kind of you can kind of go up and, you know, keep fighting for that playoff spot or you could tumble real easily because we got a lot of tough teams coming up here in the next couple of weeks uh, towards the end of the season. So after this game, we got a couple nice ones. I think we play the Knicks after this. They're on a seven-game win streak now, so would love to break their win streak. And then after that, we have Cleveland. So if we can just scratch out this win tonight against the Nets, come in and play a good game against uh, the Knicks, and then we should be able to handle Cleveland, and then that should get us on a nice little roll. I think that would put us at six-game win streak. Probably put us in a nice playoff spot, maybe seventh seed. Um, but it all depends, man. we got a lot of tough games coming up against the West Coast after that as well. So it's not going to be an easy finish to the uh, season here. We're going to have to fight it out, duke it out till the very end. I've liked our fight so far, man, even though we haven't been a great great team and been marred with injury this year. We've been uh, fighting and scrapping until the very end, which has been nice to see. But it should be a good game. We won the last one, 123-117. It's about two months ago, a month and a half ago that that game happened, so it's been a while. We only played Brooklyn three times this year because of the short season, 72-game season. So we got one more game today, and then I think we play them again in like a week or two um, just before the season finishes up. So nonetheless, should be a good game tonight. Looking forward to it. Hopefully the Raptors can keep their streak going here and uh, shut down the Nets. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. You think the Raptors can hang on for the W tonight. Keep pushing this win streak on. And uh, yeah, you guys, that's it for this video. So this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat signing off. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.